Hey y'all, it's Cheryl here today around the house with Cheryl. I just wanted to give you an update on the patio garden. Uh, right here are agaves that I divided. If you watch that one video where I did the pool noodle hack, these are the pups from that I believe. Or from another pot earlier. But anyway, got them in these two bowls. Look, did y'all see that? The little lizard came out to get some sun. Uh, the loud noise in the background are the cicadas. They're having a good time. This is my little hosta bed here. So, in the fall, I'm definitely going to have to thin them out. Now that I know what's what. And this one's gotten bigger. It's okay. It's kind of softening up the, the rocks. And then, of course, this sedum. I'm going to do a video on sedums and tell you a little bit about what they like and don't like and if they bloom. I think all of them bloom, but they, I guess, have to be happy. But these were two old pots, and I just stuck that in there and see. I think this is probably the, might be the fifth year. See how it looks like it's spilling over and it caught. I see I got a weed over there to get up. And these are the gobbies that I potted up, and they have pool noodles inside, and coffee filters. And these are my hens and chicks. And this is a, um, another succulent I had. Uh, I can't leave this one out. I can leave the hens and chicks out all winter. But um, they were looking kind of rough when I put it in there. I still might cut it down. Look. Nope, there was another little lizard, blue one. Okay, this is the my red, white, and blue. It's begonias and bacopa. I think they also have a pink bacopa, but I've only tried the white. And so, this uh, begonia is going to get bigger, like a big red ball. So, over here are just some more hens and chicks. You see how they cluster and and you get the babies that's um I guess in the succulent family well, I'm doing a test to see which ones can stay out here's another one red white and blue over here we have a sedum I'm sorry not a sedum clementis I think this one it's got a couple new buds coming on this is what the buds look like and let's see y'all I don't know why these leaves look like that I don't know if it's just uh, too much water or this needs some food I don't know anyway let's see this one is called Picardi Clementis and it's by Monrovia and um, let's see this one Gets, it's hardy down to negative 10 to 20 degrees. Bloom summer, which here is really spring. Three by five feet high and two feet wide. It likes to be semi-moist. Okay. That's that. And down here, um, I had the pieces of Creeping Jenny. I left in here. And I thought that would be my filler and thriller. Filler. I don't have a whatever. What do they call it? Filler. Thriller. Spiller. I'm missing one of them. I forget which one. Anyway, here's this one. I didn't know that Creeping Jenny was so easy to propagate. These are my um, irises. Uh, you see I had a couple of blue ones and purple ones in there. I want to take them out because this is supposed to be just white. But um, I haven't tried to see if these will bloom at the wood line. You can see at the wood line. Um, they said it would be pretty to have some white down there. Okay, so we're going up here. Now, I just had to redo one of my uh, lavenders because like I told you, I kill them every time. And hopefully I can keep this one alive. Okay, I'm just not watering. 
And this is my rosemary. My rosemary looks healthy. This is the other lavender that on half kilter. It, it, I'm not going to give it a drop of water for a week or two. These are impatient. Uh, I think this might be three plants. I'm not sure. But here's another clementis. It's about finished. Um, it's trying to show you one. Now this might also uh, see there's two different types in here. I think this is Nellie Moser, but I'm going to have to check my book and get back to you. But um, I'll do a video um, probably soon on Clementus and Sedum. Now, here are my Japanese maple seedlings. They're doing well. I don't think I had any, not one of them die. that one it really don't need to be in that pot by itself like that and then we got some purple heart and I had some sweet alyssum and then that, that uh, one sedum there I just thought that combination would look pretty good and just uh, some more alyssum and sounds like a storm is coming of course after I watered a little bit but this is a grass, um, blue, blue, a blue grass. I can't think of the name of it, but I didn't know it actually bloomed. And then up here, um, I've got some more bacopa. And then look, I bought, they look the same. Bought two different type of, of agapanthus. And so the, this one's not quite open yet. But it'll be pretty. I'm testing out different perennials, so I don't have to keep planting stuff. This one doesn't have a um, a stem yet. I mean, a flower yet. Uh, this is the first year, and from what I understand, they like to be crowded. So I'm thinking when they get crowded, I'll get more blooms. And this is a um, coreopsis that I planted in here. Came back, kind of like that. And then I thought, I love Johnny Jump Up, so I thought I'd get me a little bit. And I painted that rock. Okay. And then another Clementus, um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's the same name as the one I just showed you down there. And I just put a few little uh, alyssums to fill in at the bottom. They just happen to match the two clementus and this is Henry Henry I and so we'll this is the second year there's another one in here but I don't know I never got it to bloom I don't know what it is and then of course you've seen the cactus uh, collection before and then we got some more hostas here and then, um, you know, normally I had the pink bubblegum petunias in the black pots, but this time we decided to go with the begonias, so I won't have to pick. So this is the only um, one I have to pick. But I think uh, if I back up here, doesn't that uh, pink look good against the green hostas? I gotta clean out my fountain, y'all water got a little dirty after that storm and just a little few things up there I got a few plants in and of course you know about this tree I always talk about this tree but something I thought was coming up I thought my purple uh, Bella Lugosi lily was coming up with buds and it turns out that this is a white iris that um, popped up. Now, I'm not sure how it got in here unless it grew from seed. Who knows? I'm always throwing seeds somewhere. And so I'm in this one pot is another Henry I Clementus, but I don't know if I like that there. The, the um, 
obelisk is not tall enough. You can see how tall that one is. So does that mean I need to get another one? Maybe. Okay, y'all, look. This is, uh, I believe, two years, maybe three years old. My little miniature rose. I decided to move it over here. Doing pretty good. I'm trying not to water it that much because I think I had noticed it was getting um, yellowish leaves. No. That's the purple clementis over there that's drooping down. It might perk up because I did water. I don't know if it's drooping because it didn't have water or not enough. But yeah, you can see my all my hydrangeas are coming out. They look yellowish green right now. As you can see, this one is turning a little blue. Okay. And then there's a couple hostas. And then um, my, my little boxwood, I'm trying to make it into a ball. Okay. Another is, uh, um, I think, purple cone flowers. That clementis was a piece that you didn't get out. Y'all hear Teddy? Now, here's my tapestry. Now, not sure I'll give you a good view, but most of all these are some sort of succulents. Uh, and I'll, I'll let you know what the plants are. I see I got some weeding to do. I see some uh, clover in there. Okay. So, what we put in the black pots were uh, begonias. These are pink. I think, yeah, pink, because the ones down there are red. And so, I think this would be easier. I don't have to pick. And then these are, um, this is a, what is it? What is this, y'all? <laughs> I went and had a brain and forget. What is this? It's a tree, y'all. But anyway, I can't remember. <laughs> okay. We had a uh, clementis down there that's about done. I think something was eating on it, too. Some more begonias. You see that thing flying? I don't know if y'all saw it fly. Those are um, them damn cicadas. Trying to scare somebody. Okay, here's another uh, Japanese maple. That's what that thing is. This one is um, a seedling from the mother over there, the one I showed you earlier. But yeah, so the last thing is another succulent. It's just a combination. I kind of like this one green, but... When it gets in the sun, it turns this orangey bronze color. So, and then there's some of these small ones I just stuck in there. Okay, so in the next video, um, oh yeah, and this is Blue Star Creeper. Now, in the wintertime, this is all dried up. It looks like it's dead, but it comes back, y'all. I love it. Okay, but the next video, I'm going to show y'all what's going on down here in my new herbaceous garden it's huge isn't it but most of the plants down there are um, plants that I got out my cutting garden or dug up from somewhere else and moved I don't think I bought anything other than the uh, you can see that the gold flower out there let me see if I can zoom in lantana and there's a uh, milkweed i bought for the butterflies so we're going to do that next time but i just wanted to show you the patio and then next time we'll also do a little wood line but i think most of the flowers that we had at the wood line the shrubs the rhododendrons and azaleas are done so okay y'all see you on the next video